If you've been wanting to try our lip glosses, but you're not really sure how they'll look on you, I am going to show you on me. Now, lipsticks and lip glosses will always look a little bit different because they're based on what color your natural lip color is. So if you've got more of a blue based, um, or maybe you've got quite a pale lip, the color of a lip gloss and a lipstick will vary from person to person, even though the shade is the same. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on me, but it's not to say it'll look exactly the same on you. So to start with, I have got the Angelina color on. Okay, it looks quite dark in the tube, but once put on, it's more of a, a blood red. It's almost like a stain, I suppose. Now I could put more on to make it a little bit more intense. And then it will get darker and more of a more of a wine red if I was to put a second layer on. So that's the Angelina. Okay, so now I need to wipe this one off. Bear with me and then I'll show you the next color. Kate. Okay, one of my favorites. I love using this on its own or I do like to put it over the Zaza lipstick for really intensive coral looking or even over the top of the dusty pink color as well in the lipstick. So you can put the glosses over the top of the lipsticks. So that is Kate. Amal. Um, Amal is a really nice, solid baby pink. Oh. So that's the Amal. <laughs> Diana. Diana is a nice frosty pink, but a very natural color and one of my faves. Bridget. Okay, now Bridget is a really nice nude. So that's the lip glosses. Hopefully you can pick a color out of all of these and it gives you a little bit of an indication as to which one to try.